Hi, I'm Heather with Heather Lang Homes and I'm here with another special real estate market update and the effects of COVID-19. We are in week eight. It's May, welcome to May. And we have seen some changes taking place. So we'll talk about that. Let's dive right into some new major events that took place over the last week. And the, the first one is, is that um, our SIP mandate has been extended through May 31st with the caveat that we are starting to see some relaxation in the guidelines. And uh, we're gonna see more and learn more about that later this week. Governor Newsom is going to be releasing some new guidelines for um, adaptations to the SIP mandate uh, relating to retail business. So let's stay tuned and see what he has to say about that. And that can go into effect as early as uh, later this week as well. So um, we'll, we'll be interested to see how that's gonna open things up. For now, again, the Bay Area in general and Santa Clara County, we are still required to uh, shelter in place, except for essential business um, and comply with the social distancing rules. Um, real estate has opened up a bit to where now it is again considered essential business, um, but it used to be that we could just look at vac vacant homes. We can now look at occupied homes as well, as long as the sellers and the occupants of that home are gone, then we can still go and take a look at those with an appointment and two, two members of the same household along with a realtor can view those properties and make offers. Um, so that has opened things up a bit for real estate. Uh, let's dive in and also look at these stats, remembering that I go back um, the previous weeks to make sure our stats and information is accurate. So let's go back to uh, April 20th through the 26th, and we saw that there were 183 new listings, 121 listings that went into contract, and 134 listings that sold. And uh, from April 27th to May 3rd, we are again seeing more homes continuing to come to market. So 205 listings uh, came to market, that's 12% more than the previous week and 130 listings went under contract and that's up 7% from the previous week. And indeed uh, a trend of our second week in a row of seeing more homes getting into contract. And that's even before uh, the re release this last week of being able to go into occupied homes safely with appointments, et cetera, and with the, the occupants gone. So that'll be an interesting to stat to see uh, where that goes next week as well. And then 120 six listings sold. So that's down from 6% uh, from last week. And that'll be an interesting trend to watch as uh, we get into um, seeing those listings that went into contract growing. So um, also looking at the total number of single family homes in Santa Clara County, we are up to 991 active listings. And of those listings, 450 are vacant. That was an important stat as of last week because we could only look at vacant homes. We can now go in and look at occupied homes as well, again, safely with appointments. So reach out to me if you uh, are in a place where you're ready to start looking. Um, again, it's most important that we stay safe. You know, COVID is going to be with your, with us. COVID-19 is gonna be with us for a while. So it's important that we adapt as we move forward and as things open up and that we stay safe. Go back and make sure that you're uh, paying attention to what's going on in your county, your city, and in the state. You can go to covid19.ca.gov. And for the rest of the country, you can see what's going on by going to cdc.gov. Again, what's most important is that we stay safe. We will get through this. We are seeing that people need to sell and there is some pent up demand for buyers. Interest rates are low. So we will get through this. Uh, in the real estate world, people will be able to make their move 
And we are uh, hopefully in the meantime, staying safe and being conscientious about how we go about business. We'll all get through this and we'll do it well together. Be well, be safe.